What if the right dose of a simple cough syrup could transform your life with Parkinson's? Today, we're tackling a hot topic straight from your comments. Questions like, what dosage should I start with? What's the right dosage of Ambroxol for Parkinson's? And is it practical to take outside of studies? We'll dive into the latest 2025 research, with all important links to original sources in the description, explain how Ambroxol dosages work, and address your concerns about practicality, all while keeping it clear and hopeful. Let's dive into the science and give you answers that make sense. First, let's talk about Ambroxol and why it's exciting. You might know it as a cough syrup that loosens mucus, used safely since the 1970s. But researchers found it does something incredible for Parkinson's. It acts as a G-case enhancer. G-case, or glucocerebrosidase, is an enzyme in your brain cells that works like a cleanup crew, clearing out toxic proteins called alpha-synuclein. In Parkinson's, these proteins clump up, damaging dopamine-producing cells. Ambroxol boosts G-case, helping sweep away those clumps and potentially protecting your brain. For seniors, this could mean fewer tremors, better mobility, and more on time. Those precious moments when symptoms are under control. Now, let's get to your big question. What dosage should you start with? The 2025 AS Pro PD Phase 3 trial, running across the UK with 330 participants, is testing ambroxol hydrochloride at 420 mg daily. That's taken as one tablet three times a day, after a two-week dose escalation period to let your body adjust gently. This escalation starts with a lower dose, often around 60 to 100 mg daily, and gradually increases to avoid side effects like nausea or indigestion, which are usually mild and short-lived. Earlier studies, like the 2018 AMPD trial, tested a range from 100 to 600 mg daily, split into multiple doses. Those participants saw benefits like improved motor scores and higher G-case activity in their spinal fluid, up to 35% more. That's promising, showing Ambroxol can get into the brain and do its job. But here's the key. Ambroxol isn't yet approved for Parkinson's outside clinical trials so there's no official dosage for general use. If you're considering off-label use, taking it under a doctor's supervision, your neurologist will likely start you at a low dose, like 60 to 100 milligrams daily. This cautious approach is especially important for seniors who might have sensitive stomachs or other medications to consider. Side effects, like mild nausea or diarrhea, are common but typically fade. Always consult your doctor to tailor the dose to your unique health needs and ensure it's safe with your other treatments. Let's address the second big concern from your comments. Are high doses impractical unless you're in a study? You're absolutely right to point this out. Early trials like AMPD in 2018 tested doses as high as 1,260 mg daily. That's 21 pills a day. Imagine trying to swallow all those while managing Parkinson's symptoms. It was a challenge for participants and for seniors. That kind of regimen could feel overwhelming, especially if you're already juggling multiple meds. The good news? The AS Pro PD trial listened. They reformulated Ambroxol into a more practical dose, just 420 mg daily, taken as three tablets. That's a huge improvement making it easier to manage, even for older adults. For those of you exploring off-label use, your doctor might prescribe even lower doses to start, say 60 to 100 milligrams daily, adjusting based on how you feel. Why does dosage matter so much for seniors? As we age, our bodies process medications differently. You might have a slower metabolism or other conditions like stomach sensitivity that make high doses tricky. That's why starting low and escalating slowly is key. The AS Pro PD trial's 420 mg dose is designed with practicality in mind, but off-label use might not need to go that high. Your neurologist can monitor for side effects. Mild ones like indigestion are common but manageable with hydration and a fiber-rich diet. Serious side effects are rare. Ambroxol's been safe for decades at lower doses for coughs. Still. 
Always consult your doctor before starting or adjusting any medication to ensure it fits your treatment plan. With your doctor's okay, you could explore it now, especially if you have the GBA1 mutation. The Phase 2 AIMPD trial showed better motor scores and no major safety issues, paving the way for Phase 3. If ASPRO PD succeeds, Ambroxol could be the first disease modifying drug from a cough syrup. Huge for seniors wanting more independent years. How do you know if the right dose could work for you? Consider genetic testing through PD Frontline. It's free and online. You can find the link in the video description. If you have the GBA1 mutation, Ambroxol's benefits might be stronger. Even without it, the drug's G case boost could help. Always talk to your neurologist about whether off-label use makes sense and how to start safely. Never start or change treatments without your doctor's guidance. They'll ensure it's safe with your other meds. Picture the impact. A dose that fits your life could mean fewer tremors, easier walks, or more time enjoying hobbies. If you or a loved one has Parkinson's, share this video to spread the word about Ambroxol dosages. Hit that like button, subscribe to Senior Health Formula for more senior-focused health tips, and comment below. Have you talked to your doctor about Ambroxol? What's your Parkinson's journey? Let's keep this conversation going.